Okay, before I actually get to the um, eclipses that we've had over America over the past few years, I want to give you an idea of what you're looking at. You have the total lunar eclipse, which is the blood moon. It's where the moon falls into the Earth's umbra, causing it to turn a shade of red. Then you have the penumbral uh, lunar eclipse, where it is a total eclipse, but it doesn't fall into the umbra, and therefore it just gets uh, dark. It, um, you probably wouldn't even notice one of these unless you knew in advance that they were going to happen. And then, of course, there's the partial, which is basically basically comparable to you know the moon's cycles each month. So, like I said, there's the lunar eclipses. Then you have the types of solar eclipses. This, of course, is a total where the sun is blocked completely out except for the you know, outer edges of the corona. You kind of see that shadow thing there. And you have the partial, which I mean, it doesn't cover the whole thing. The annular is what we just saw in October where we had the ring of fire. It's uh, the moon is just a little bit too close to the sun to block out the whole thing so it leaves that ring of fire around the edge. So that's the types of solar eclipses that we have. There's also hybrid eclipses but um, for solar but they're just uh, they vary uh, you know what they look like. So, now I want to get to these passages of Scripture here. This is Joel 2, verse 31. It says, The sun shall be turned into darkness, and the moon into blood, before that great and terrible day of the Lord uh, come. So, this one is actually talking about a total solar eclipse with a uh, blood moon. So, I mean, we saw that. Uh, in the pictures but then Yeshua says in Matthew 24 he says immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light so this doesn't necessarily have to be a blood moon that is a sign of whatever it could just be a penumbral which is um, where it just gets dark without actually turning red and this one actually also mentions meteor showers and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. So you could see that we could have a blood moon with an annular eclipse, or a total solar eclipse with a penumbral. You know, it just varies. But anyway, now I want to show you all of these uh, blood moons that we've had. I've tried to list them according to what year, you know, they were, whatever. Uh, these are the ones from the first ones are from 2014 and 2015 now I want you to know that I have listened to a lot of people over to over the past few months talking about how the solar eclipses are supposed to be on the nations where the lunar eclipses are specifically you know targeted toward the, the Jewish people or Israel but that is not true because as you saw in that passage of scripture it says the sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood that means both of those things have to happen it says the same thing here the sun shall be darkened and the moon shall not give her light both of them have to happen you see both of them together to uh, mark destruction or whatever so now, um, another thing that I want to say is that the eclipses have to happen over the country that is receiving the uh, judgment or the warnings of judgment, because this is what they are. Um, we're going to start with the ones in 2014 and 2015 to show you that it doesn't necessarily mean over Israel. So this was from April 15th, 2014, which is the first of the Blood Moon Tetrids. Everybody kept saying, oh, they're a warning to Israel. This is Israel right here, right in there. You see, Israel saw none of that. It's all over America. So that one was obviously not judgment on Israel. 
Well, this one is from October 8th, 2014. And like I said, this is Israel right here. If any of Israel saw that eclipse, it's amazing to me. Again, over the, like, the whole west coast of the United States. And then from April 4th, 2015, Israel's right here. They did see part of that one, but you can see that the majority of it is still over the United States. And then the final one from 2015, September 28th, uh, this one was kind of in the middle. It covers like pretty much the whole uh, east coast of the United States and South America, but it also hits parts of Israel, I mean parts of Africa. And like I said, this is Israel right here. So they did see that one. But like I said, the other three pretty much on America, period. Now, let's go to number five. You saw that all three of those or all four of those were pretty much over America. This one is actually, this is a penumbral where it doesn't turn red, it just gets dark. This was from March to 23, uh, uh, 23rd, 2016. And you can see now, like I said, it doesn't turn red so it doesn't show you. But this is Israel here, right there. They didn't see that one. It was all over America. And then number six, is the it's another penumbra from February 11th 2017 you can see that this is penumbra 2 which means that it didn't turn red it just got dark and that pretty much covered the whole world literally so number 7 was the solar eclipse, the Great American Solar Eclipse, which was a total solar eclipse, not an annular. Uh, moved in uh, off the coast of Oregon from the Pacific Ocean. And I happened to have been right here in Simpsonville, South Carolina, to watch this go out back out into the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, notice this covered no other country. They called this eclipse the Great American Solar Eclipse worldwide. So literally, it was only on America. No, it wasn't Canada. It wasn't Mexico or South America. Right across the United States. So like I said, that's number seven. And then number eight. This is another solar eclipse. I mean lunar eclipse. Total lunar eclipse from January 31st, 2018. Here's Israel. So they did see part of that one, but still you can see that most of it covered the uh, United States. And then number nine, this is from January 21st, 2019. There's Israel, saw part of it, but look, North and South America. So now we're going to go to number 10. I'm, like I said, I'm trying to put these in order according to when they happened. Now this is another penumbral for November 30th, 2020. And you can see, uh, let me show you, Israel is here, right above Egypt. That's Israel. They didn't see any of it. North and South America. And number 11... Another penumbral for July 5th, 2020. You know, it doesn't get red, it just gets dark. North and South America and Africa. Of course, Israel's here, so they didn't see that one. These are not over Israel people. So that was 11, here's 12. This is from November 8th, 2022. Total blood moon. Israel's here. I don't even know if they saw the red part to be truthful about it because it goes all the way out to here. But you can see, covers the United States, November 8th, 2022. So number 13, where is 13? Is this one? This was the annular eclipse from October 14th last year. Okay, and you can see it came in the same place the other one did in Oregon and dropped off into the Gulf of Mexico and hit 
you know, uh, northern uh, South America. So, that's 13, 14. Another penumbral. Israel's here. Saw none of that. March 25th, 2024. North and South America and part of Africa. Number 15. This eclipse is getting ready to happen. This one comes in through Mexico. It goes off into the Atlantic Ocean somewhere up around Canada. But um, you can see that this is not over Israel either. And then of course there's one more lunar eclipse in 2025. Kind of early. It's March 14th. Another total. Israel's here. Didn't see any of it. North and South America. So you can see that these were all warnings to our country, to the country of America. So there's one more thing that I want to show you before I quit. Y'all remember the scarlet letter, right? What it stood for. The woman had to have the capital letter, the letter A on her lapel showing that she was an adulterous whore. So, um, a lot of people talk about the three eclipses and they say, you know, you hear this all over the place, how they say the olive toff, olive toff. Well, I don't see that. What I see is a big fat A. You who has labeled America a whore, an adulterer. And you can see Mexico is here. So this comes here. There's the tip of Texas there. Goes all the way. Look, doesn't go in that country anywhere. And Canada, this is all Maine and New England up here. It's across America, people. So like I said, Yahoo has actually labeled America an adulteress. So... That's my uh, take on all these eclipses. That, like I said, they the, the Jews. Why would why would Yahoo put Hebrew letters across America? He wouldn't do that. He put a big fat A, showing that America was an adulterous whore. But anyway, like I said, that's my take on the eclipses. So it's not on Israel, people. It's on America. America is about to face destruction. <laughs>